Bergen's nosebleeds and bleeding episodes were terrifying. He slept on the floor of our bedroom until we started treatment here out of fear of aspiration. When they said factor nine, I was like, I don't know what that is. Then they kept explaining, it's like, and some, whenever they were talking to my mom, they, I would listen and be like, so it turns out your son has a blood disorder and you have 13 factors and you're missing your ninth. That's why you have nosebleeds a ton and internal bleeding. I think that the whole experience would be very different if people, the, it's the people that make this livable. If it wasn't for that staff, this team, this facility, the Jimmy Evist family, the, just everybody up there, they make um, what could be a traumatic life event seem like a small hiccup, something that you learn to cope with that will take us through for the whole life. He's a good person and I, he saved my life because um, he found another, um, found another treatment for Factor 9 and so we went from uh, three shots a week to two shots a week to one, one shot a week because Dr. Khan found out how to make the medicine last longer. We're so thankful for Mary's patience. Bergen has a very particular way that he likes his infusions. Mary has coached us through how we can have a happy child that still lives with this medication. Nurse Mary is a good nurse and she's very kind and nice and I think she makes things go a lot better. Nurse Mary is my healthcare hero.